As you guys see, there's a new setup on the channel. If you guys want to help support the channel, go check out all the links, etc. And check it out, everything in the description below. We also have a new Drift Gaming membership. All information on the Patreon. Link in the description below, go check it out. In the meantime, let's talk about destroying some Spiral. Shall we? So you have a problem beating Spiral. I can't relate. Hence, here I am sharing with you all my experiences on how to obliterate Spiral. So a lot of you have trouble beating Spiral. I'm telling you, it's very easy to do. You just gotta have the right mindset and gotta stick to the motherfucking game plan, boys. Very, very easy. Normally, top five lists go from shit to best. Screw that. So today, we are actually gonna switch it up and we're gonna start from number one right now. Number one way how to absolutely annihilate, obliterate, destroy Spiral is Sphere Mode. You could suck at this game. You could not put up one negate with pendulums. As you have that Sphere Mode, you win the damn duel. Sphere Mode on the Sleeper, on the Appaloosa, and whatever else is there. The Trigate's dead because it's not linked to Appaloosa. Everything's just dead. Now, the number one argument against Sphere Mode is, I need to use my normal summon. Well, hey, guess what? How about you play a better deck? that don't need the normal summon. Even if your deck needs a normal summon, I'd rather outright clear the entire spiral board and have to care than that. So, play your sphere mode. Uh, another issue is if they drone, uh, if they use a drones card or whatever and they can st stack the top three cards, that's all you gotta throw in your sphere modes. And number two card, Lava Golem. These two cards are the only cards you should even debate in your head to play against Spiral. Anything else is irrelevant. Now, of course, you can play the hand traps and stuff, which I'll get to right after this. But these two cards over here, the Sphere Mode and the Lava Golem, are the two best ways, number one and number two, by far, to obliterate Spiral. And it just destroys them going second. Going first, you put a multiple on the gate, so I'll talk about going first. But I really want to touch on these two cards first. Because the second you get through the Sleeper and the Appaloosa and the Trigate, you absolutely suck ass if you can't win after that. At that point, you don't even deserve to win. At that point, go play a tier 19 Dark Magicians at table 4,000. But until then, play a good deck like Pendulum, and you can destroy them if you drop one of these cards. Now, I do want to note one thing that we do have on Patreon Triff Gaming Membership. So if you do suck at this game, whether it be playing normal Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pendulums, I, do, I now uh, have available Pendulum Training, for basic memberships in the Patreon, so go check it out. I'll make sure that I'm not the only pen god out here watching the pen god channel. You feel me? We could all be pen gods with a little bit of training. Now, on to number three. Now, number three is not a card like Sphere Mode or a card like Lava Golem. Number three is a hand trap that outright destroys them. Droll and Cuckbird. Now, this card will cuck the shit out of your opponent, whether they're playing the best deck in Pendulum or the second best deck in Spiral. The deck, the card is insane versus almost every single good deck. It's even good versus some bad decks like Sub Terror. It still is a very damn good card, and I'm a big fan of Droll, uh, except when it's played against me. But now, Droll is a very good card, as all us Pendulum players know. Uh, but hey, you know what? We shall work on destroying Droll and Lockbird because as of right now, they will see a lot of play in it. On my stream, one of the viewers noted who was at the PPT said every single person in the top 16 main Droll and Lockbird that wasn't playing Spiral. And what do you know? It's the only ones at top 16. I don't know if this is true or not, but the only ones at top 16 were the ones that played Spiral or the ones that played Droll in the deck. Now, I don't know what the hell happened to all you Pendulum players out there that couldn't, what the hell, top with this garbage Spiral meta. How about you play yourself a little Sphere Mode? Speaking of which, for Pendulum players out there, listen, let me tell you something, alright? Spiral is very easy to beat for Pendulums. You just have the right side deck. Now, this is going to lead to number four now. Number four is another hand trap, that is Nibiru. Now, Nibiru doesn't, some hands, Spiral could play through Nibiru, some hands, but most hands they cannot. Now, most hands, if you draw in a Biru or a Droll and Lockbird, you'll be fine. You'll be totally fine. But some hands, you actually can't do anything and you outright lose. What could you do, right? What could you do in that situation other than just extend the handshake if you lose it through a Droll and a Biru? Now, babe, you want to know what deck plays with Droll and a Biru? Yeah, pendulums. But anyway, the Cypher Pendulum Spiral does a decent job, but not really. Most of the time, Droll or Nibiru straight up end their turn. You want to destroy Spiral, you use these four cards. Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, Droll and Lockbird, Nibiru. The only real issue is when they go first. Now, when they go second, they can still clear boards going second, that's right. But 
typically, if you stop the Helix, they lose. If you get rid of the Magician's Souls, they lose. So, the deck did get a lot stronger with Magician's Souls, but if you play a good Negate deck like Pendulum and drop 80 Negates like I do, it will be no problem. Now, on another note, if you're playing some bad deck, let's say you play Salamangre, I don't know, let's say you play another deck like Orcus, then obviously you need to be different ways than putting up 90 Negates to stop them when they go first. So, sorry, when you go first. So, you could always still ha side in the hand trap. So, I do recommend maining three Droll and three Nibiru for hand trap decks. But if you don't have those, I recommend going Dweller Turbo. Now, the next card is Dweller. Now, I would go out of my way with Pendulums just to ensure that I Dweller their ass. Because if you Dweller them and have a few negates up to stop Helix, you outright win the duel. Now, there's nothing they can even do. They can't even attempt to summon the use master plan. Their traps are dead. All their stuff's dead. Now, I highly advise going Dweller, going first. There are other cards you can play against them going first, such as, I don't know, Jackal, Mighty Master, etc. Just put a bunch in the gates and be fine. But the best way is to just floodgate their ass. Dweller. If you're playing a trap deck, let's say Altergeist or Subterror, you, or Draco, you're going to want to get all the floodgates known to mankind and... Summon them all out, just, just flip them all up and ensure that they can't play. Now, you do gotta be careful because Spiral Super Agent and because Spiral Tough because they can stop floodgates, but a solid skill drain would do the trick here and make all those cards useless. If you're playing Draco, you must throw in your three Monarchs Erupt without question if you're playing Draco. Now, if you're playing another deck, just throw in that Sphere Mother Lava Golem. And you'll be alright. Now we're going to throw in a little bonus cards here. If, let's say you're too stupid to play Sphere Motor Lava Golem. Let's say your deck can't play Hand Traps. Or let's say your deck sucks and can't make Dweller. Now it's going to leave the, there's maybe like a few decks out there that can't play any of those. And for those decks, I advise playing a new deck. But, if you're stubborn like me and don't want to, then I'm going to tell you guys a few other cards you could play to stop them. Hand Trap Central. Throw in every hand trap in the world now if your deck let's say you're playing something that can't uh, can't waste a normal summon like salamangre and all you gotta do is just throw in all the hand traps throw in droll throw in ash throw in sphere throw in ghost ogre throw in imperm every single hand trap that you could possibly afford you throw in that deck i want to see salamangre decks and orcas decks moving forward with 18 damn hand traps because the only way you really lose with Sapphiro is if they go off but if you hand trap them into Oblivion, a lot of the times an Ash on the Helix could stop their turn outright. An Imperm on the Helix could stop their turn outright. A Ghost Ogre on the Helix could stop their turn outright. So a lot of the times, just throw in Infinity Hand Traps. I do think Orcus is pretty decent this format. I don't know how the hell like one Orcus topped or something. You guys suck. Just play Infinity Hand Traps and play Ding Gear Suit Control and you're going to be totally fine versus all these garbage decks. I do think Spiral is overrated. A lot of people are saying it's a tier 0 deck right now. You're false. You're wrong. You're fake. This is wrong. The only tier 0 deck in the world is Pendulum, baby! Let's go! It's the only tier 0 deck, tier zero deck in the world. But if... I, I'm fine. I won't, I won't be biased. It's tier 0 0.5. But Pendulum is the best deck and then Spiral is after that. And if you can't beat it, you just gotta learn. If you can't beat it, I honestly advise you guys. I will be doing a super up-to-date video this week, next weekend on my Patreon. And for all Pendulum memberships on how to absolutely obliterate Spiral. And how to obliterate the entire meta. Because we still don't know what the other top two most played decks will be. Because judging by the PPT, which, hey, PPT de uh, events don't really count. But it was 9 Spiral and like one of random shit decks. So, we'll see how it plays out for next week's regionals. There's a Montreal regionals and a few other regionals. So, we'll see how it plays out then, where we'll be doing a meta report on the Patreon to describe exactly how the meta is going to shape out after all the regionals and see how it really goes. Because at the end of the day, boys, is if your Pendulum deck is ready to beat the whole meta, if you know how to beat the whole meta, and if you don't suck at this game, you will beat you win basically everything. It's how I uh, beat. I understood how to beat the meta. And the last format was the regional versus Orca, full power Orcus, full power salad, all that stuff. I understood how to beat them. So my game plan going into each match, I knew what to do. But as of right now, there's a lot of questions on how to beat the new meta. Because no one knows what it is, for one. So how can you prepare your deck to beat the new meta if you don't know the new meta? And that's really what the Patreon's for, to really get it done. But guys, if you like the video, smash the subscribe button. Go follow on Instagram and check out everything on this thing, the window. And don't miss out on our daily streams. We do crazy streams almost every single day. We do live pendulum tournaments. 
It's insane. So make sure not to miss out on those. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.